So, and now he is here, Matthias Schreiner, and yeah, how did you get the idea to negotiate with companies and with people? <laughs> I think it was not an idea, it was, it, it was a must for me to share my, my experience, my knowledge. Um, and so it, for me it, it, it was not just an idea, um, I had the feeling I have to to uh, show companies, global co uh, parties, how to negotiate in dialogue scenarios because I know exactly how to do it because I'm a former hostage negotiator. So, um, coming back to your question, it was not just an idea, it was a must for me. Okay, and was it easy to get the number one of the world negotiator? Mm. This was not easy, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> as you can assume. Um, it was a long way. Well, it, was, it was really tough because I do have a lot of experience and knowledge about negotiations but I didn't have experience about the business, about management. So I developed my own company, we created the, the institute in Zurich and it, it, was a, it was a long way to, uh, let's say, to, to, um, to, get, to get in the business, to understand uh, the pain, the needs of, of, a, of a CEO. So we developed our own company and right now, I guess we are, we are market leader for tough negotiations. And now, right now, we, we, we are able to combine our knowledge and experience from negotiations with our knowledge and experience in management. And right now it works. So, I think you have some skills in negotiate. And um, where did you get them? I think it's, um, as, as you mentioned, it, uh, I do have some skills, um, I'm, I'm a professional negotiator based on my experience and so it was, it was quite easy to create, uh, let's say, um, a community for negotiators. So we asked the worldwide best negotiators to join our community and they agreed immediately. They told us, well, that's a great idea to exchange ideas yeah? and I think they, they, uh, they are getting better in our community because exchanging ideas and finding new solutions is extremely important for the future. Okay, then, so as we know, you were a, you was a policeman, mm -hmm. and are there many differences between negotiation as negotiate as a policeman or negotiate with companies? There's one, there's one huge difference, because in, in a, when you negotiate as a police officer, um, it's quite easy because it's always the same scenario. So a hostage taker is coming up with a high demand, offering no cooperation, telling me if I don't get a getaway car, I will kill the hostage. So it's quite easy uh, from a negotiation standpoint because it's just one strategy. On the other hand, it's extremely difficult because a life is on the line. So in business it's very, it's completely different because it's very complicated. There's so many people involved, it's uh, always a global structure, um, and so it's so our challenge is to to summarize all these issues to make sure everyone is involved and leading them to the target. Okay, would you say that a negotiate negotiate with a company is similar to negotiate with children? Oh, I have to I have to admit it's it's uh, from my perspective. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, it's, it's a different world because negotiating with kids is extremely difficult for adults because we are always emotionally involved. We have no understanding why kids are coming up with high demands. <laughs> um, we don't understand their, their tactics because we think, hey, you have to be rational. Huh? It doesn't make sense. So please try to understand. And that's why it's, um, it's sometimes complicated. I guess the reason is 
we as an adult, we would like to say you, uh, um, you should be prepared to learn in the world. You are telling me you want to learn to be prepared for the world, and this is the difference. Okay, do you have any tips for us what we can do better? Um, I wouldn't say better, I would say um, the most important element is to, if there is a conflict, uh, solve it. Don't yeah. avoid a conflict, negotiate, say, okay, here's my position, this is your position, let's try to find an agreement. If you avoid a conflict, uh, you will never learn how to negotiate. And my experience is all the, the, the worldwide, the best negotiators worldwide in the FBI, in the Scotland Yard, or in big companies, they have learned to negotiate as a child. Uh, because they have learned their skills uh, in school. Uh, they, they negotiated with their friends and right now they are very professional. Did you learn how to negotiate in the school? Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I, I was able to negotiate in school and I think I was not, you know, I want, I want hit this guy, like if we don't together I will, <laughs> I will hit you. Um, on the other hand, I think I, I developed my skills in school. So it's, it's a great idea um, for you and your team to develop this uh, kids and teens negotiation workshop because I'm sure the kids will learn the most important elements in this summer camp. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.